I had a real effed up day. First time I ever broke a bone in my life, and I will tell you a broken collarbone brings a whole lot of pain for a long time, and you have to wear a sling. So you have to get by with one hand, and I, I'm right-handed, so I had to learn to use my left hand. And as you see in my left hand, I have a stack of medical bills here that has an insane amount of money that needs to be paid. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how much it costs for a broken collarbone if you go to the emergency room without health insurance. It could set your wallet up for a real effed up day. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through first off when i get back on my bikes and it'll be pretty soon and i can't wait to get back on my bikes uh, i will be wearing my airbag vest no matter what motorcycle i'm on as you saw with my YZ crash, I did not have my airbag vest on, and I believe if I had this on, it would have helped prevent this uh, clavicle fracture. Uh, by the way, link to this airbag vest is in the description and comment section of this video. The reason why I never wore the airbag vest with my YZ or former WR250R, by the way, I did sell that, it's waiting for pickup. The reason why I didn't wear it with these bikes is because I have a tendency to fall off road sometimes here and there, and I didn't want to have to set the airbag vest off every time, you know, every time I fell, and also have to replace that uh, $25 CO2 cartridge. But I'll tell you guys, after seeing these medical bills for this broken collarbone, it, Add up to thousands of dollars <laughs> it's a whole lot cheaper having to replace a $25 CO2 cartridge uh, so going forward I'm always going to be wearing this jacket now I know some of you guys mentioned that this airbag vest may have not prevented uh, the collarbone fracture but I'll tell you guys if I had this airbag vest on I would have been more inclined to land on my back because this thing fills up with air supports your neck your back everything um, so I believe this would have helped me, but like I said, going forward, I will always wear this airbag vest. So if anything goes down in the future, hopefully not, knock on wood, <laughs> we'll see how good this airbag vest stands up, even off-road messing around. I always include links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of my videos, uh, or you can go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my gear. Uh, but I'll tell you, the bills here, I'm going to tell you what this adds up to. Now, mind you, I do have health insurance, but it's a short-term policy, 12 months, which you can renew every year. Um, but the condition with this short-term life insurance, which it's really, it's a lot cheaper than it is for health insurance on the marketplace, um, is that you can't have any pre-existing conditions. They don't cover that at all, which I never go to the doctor. And that's why I went with this insurance because it's uh, so much cheaper uh, than the marketplace insurance. Uh, just to give you an idea, marketplace insurance for me, the lowest plan, which was like a $7,000 deductible, was like almost $400 a month. Uh, as where this insurance uh, that covers you up to a million dollars or more and uh, has a $5,000 deductible was $135 a month. And also included in that $135 a month is another insurance policy that covers the deductible. So with this accident here, I shouldn't have to pay anything at all. Now this insurance here, uh, it covers anything over $5,000, but if you have even this short-term life insurance or any uh, health insurance, you get a discount. A lot of you guys don't know that, but uh, if compared to somebody that doesn't have health insurance at all, they would have to pay the full amount. Now, I know sometimes you can negotiate with the hospitals, but that's a crapshoot. That doesn't always work. But if you have health insurance, you will get these charges reduced you know, at a discounted rate. And I'm gonna tell you how much you save, and you save a lot. 
Uh, but like I said, I have a separate insurance policy that covers up to $5,000 of the deductible, so I don't have to pay anything, hopefully, if everything works out. And this insurance, although it's through National General Accident and Health, it's also through Aetna which is a, a good insurance. These are the costs for going to the emergency room and also seeing the orthopedic doctor. Uh, here's the first bill, and they send you separate bills here. This is for the facility charges. This is for the emergency room, the x-ray room, uh, uh, the, the x-ray machines, any of the equipment at all, the sling they gave me. This adds up to $1,830. I'm gonna tell you what the discounted rate is for my, me having insurance. I'll tell you that in just a moment, but first let me give you this. This is what you would pay if you did not have health insurance. And here's another bill that came through, and this is for the two physicians that saw me in the emergency room. Mind you, I was only in the emergency room for like 20 minutes. I was in and out pretty quickly. Uh, and this is for $1,391 to see the two physicians. Then I got another bill for going to see the orthopedic doctor. Uh, I made one visit, and that's at $319. And I have to go see him again, and I may have to see him another time as well. And I have to get another set of x-rays to make sure the clavicle is healing fine. So that's going to be some more money for the x-rays uh, charges and also for the radiology office as well. Like I said, they charge for everything. Uh, but for these prices right here, this is like $3,500 right here so far. And of course, you, you have to go back to the doctor and they have to do another set of x-rays and see the doctor a couple more times. So mind you, without insurance, it's probably going to run you about $5,000. <laughs> Five thousand, and this is without surgery, guys. Uh, most of the time, you don't have to get in surgery with a, a clavicle fracture, but it depends on how the clavicle breaks. If it breaks in multiple pieces or breaks where it's like sticking up through your skin or something, uh, you may have to get surgery. And if you have to get surgery, they told me the price would be anywhere from eleven thousand to twenty thousand dollars additional to what this these fees are. So we're talking, you're probably end up paying like $30,000 if you have to get surgery for a broken collarbone. But anyways, with this insurance policy here, the discounted rate, $1,830 with my discounted rate through this insurance drops it down to $1,007. So that's a $823 savings on this bill by just merely having insurance. This one, the $1,391 drops down to $462.37. Savings of $929. And then this doctor visit uh, for the orthopedic doctor is uh, 319 reduced down to 135.34 for a savings of 194. So that is a huge savings, guys, just for having insurance. Now, sometimes you can negotiate with the hospital if you don't have health insurance, and sometimes they'll work with you, but it's a crapshoot, guys. Uh, it really pays to have health insurance. Even just getting the, this basic, uh, you know, short-term 12-month insurance policy that I have that you can renew every year, but like I said, the drawback with this is you can't have any pre-existing conditions. So if I decide to go with this insurance for next year, they're not going to cover any problems related to my broken clavicle at all. So I have, I don't even know if they'll let me get insurance uh, for next year. Uh, if they don't, then I have to go through the marketplace and pay like almost $400 but I'm gonna make sure I have health insurance because you never know you don't ride these motorcycles guys you don't know what can happen you know like I tell you ride out there defensively and ride with some sense you know you know you'll be safe out there but you know it happens sometimes so it pays to have health insurance so there you go guys without surgery five thousand dollars with surgery up to thirty thousand dollars so there you go with this insurance and my insurance that covers the deductible, I pay nothing and I only pay $135 a month. That is awesome, guys. 
So it pays to have health insurance. I told, I did a video way back, and I told you guys, I was like, make sure you have a health insurance, man. Don't mess around. Don't don't take that gamble out there. But anyways, guys, and I'm thinking about keeping this bike because it's such an amazing bike, man. But I know Ducati came out with that new V4 Street Fighter that's even should be even sicker than this bike. We'll see. And that new KTM 1290 Super Duke R could be really sick. So I don't know, man, uh, if I even want to sell this bike. But if I do, it'd probably be for one of those bikes. Um, I did want to get a new bike, so I'm, I'm still looking. We'll see. Uh, I have some videos coming up. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this new Ducati V4 Street Fighter coming out and some other bikes. And I'll be back on the bike soon doing motor vlogs, so stay tuned. I have some unreleased motor vlogs yet uh, to upload. Stay tuned, and thank you so much for being a supporter of this channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure to go check out my other videos. Make sure to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.